Okay, so let's learn how to graph the sine function. So y equals sine of x. Now, I would like to start this with the unit circle because we're going to be getting a lot of information from it. Now, I know this is 0, this is pi over 2, this is pi, and this is 3 pi over 2, and this is also 2 pi. Now, remember the unit circle is called the unit circle because the radius or the distance from here to here is just 1. So the intercepts are going to be are going to be really easy. This is going to be 1 comma 0, 0 comma 1, negative 1 comma 0, and this is 0 comma negative 1. Also, I need to remember that I'm going to have x and y. X is going to be the cosine and Y is going to be the sine. How do I remember this? Well, remember, this is done by alphabetical order. So C comes before S. So that's how I remember that the sine is also Y. So let's start. Anytime you have a trigonometry function, you want to figure out the amplitude. In this case, the amplitude is going to be the number that is in front of the function. Here I have a 1, so the absolute value of 1 is just 1. And you're going to see what is the amplitude and the period. But right now I just want you to understand how to graph it. The second thing you have to do is to find out the period. The period is just going to be 2 pi divided by the number next to the x. In this case I have a 1. And 2 pi divided by 1 is just 2 pi. This is the reason why the sign, the period of the sign is just 2 y. Um, let's start doing our graph. Now, I'm going to plug x and I'm going to put my y values. Now, for x, I'm going to start with 0. Now, I'm going to put 0, then the next one is going to be pi over 2, because look, I'm following 0, pi over 2, pi, and then pi, and then I have 3 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and finally 2 pi. Perfecto. Now let's start. Remember, the sign is the y value. When you are in zero degrees, the y value is zero. So I just put a zero right here. When you are in pi over two, the y value is just one. When you are on pi, the y value is zero. Oh, right here, zero. When you have three pi over two, the y value is just negative one. And finally, when you are back to 2 pi, our value is just 0. Easy. Look how easy this is going to be now. I'm going to go ahead and call this guy right here 0. And then I'm going to call this guy here 2 pi. Now, look how this works. The amplitude is going to be 1. That means that this is going to be 1 here and negative 1 here. The amplitude tells me how like how big the y values are going to be. So the minimum value the sign is going to have is negative 1, and the highest values is 1. Therefore, when they tell me, the, when they ask me the domain and the range, well, look at this. The domain is going to be all real numbers. But the range is just going to be, in this case, since the amplitude is 1, is going to go from negative 1, including it, to 1. So basically, this is how easy it is. The range is, uh, is actually be given by the amplitude. And the domain of every single sine function is always all real numbers. Now, let's go ahead and do our graph. 0, 0, so I'm right here. Then, look at this, I have 0, pi over 2, pi. So we can go ahead and just put what we call the key points. And I have 0, pi over 2, pi, and then 3, pi over 2. And look what's going to happen, 0. Then pi over 2 is going to be equals to 1, pi, 0. 3 pi over 2, this is going to be just negative 1 right here. And then 2 pi is equals to 0. Look how beautiful our function is going to be. Now, I'm a horrible sketcher, as you can see, and uh, it looks something like this. So basically, look what's going to happen. My amplitude is just going to be given in this section. It's literally from the lowest to the highest point on the y-axis, and then... The period is just basically how the sign is going to repeat. So what's going to happen then from here? She's going to go all the way up and down, up and down, and so on. And that's it. That's how easy it is. 
Please don't forget to watch our other videos. Also remember, you can Skype with us. And also, thanks so much for learning.